remote control that's escape up down enter change player change player foul breakpoint one two three four five six seven clock undo foul menu wind frame now I'm going to show you how this is done okay to enter the scoreboard you click this icon okay now you click enter for the scoreboard here you enter the CID number so what you do click here with this virtual keyboard you enter the number from the administrator one for example comma 26 save and continue now it is reading from the database and get the names of the players from the database for this ID okay now you can go match or enter on the remote so this is the scoreboard to start the frame you click the clock button which is number 8 the clock button now the clock is running to change player you press one of these buttons see here or this button it works the same okay to score a point red ball you press one okay a color ball for example blue you press five and red brown and red finishing the brick you go to this side so enter or the P button and carry on foul let's say he made a foul shot you press the F button here or here they are the same so F see foul for example six points so you press six here so six points has been added to his opponent now if he decide to take a free ball you click the F button twice two times that's F 
look at that F and F so now it's free ball he take the free ball he get one point if he doesn't pot the free ball press F again to cancel like that I've press F cancel so let's do the free ball again F F should be one point for the free ball so if he put a ball he get one point so one added for the free ball now he can put a color ball for example, 7. Look at that. 7. Add it. The red ball remains the same because the free ball doesn't get a red ball into the pocket. So we go on like that. So the game is over. We go to W. So the W is here. We have a winner. So we press the W button here. So now this is the win frame. So what we do is to press the green button. So this is the green button to end this frame. So we press 3 and this will end now, like that. So one frame has been added to this person. Now this is this person's break. And we can start the clock again. Clock. Started. This is now the second frame. So we add pawns. Now to undo, you will do this button here, undo the error. So mistake here, we will click this button to undo. See, it goes back one step at a time so we can undo to the beginning of the frame there is another method to enter the break after the break is finished we will click the break button here and then the points and then enter so the brick and then the points enter for example we will push the B button here this one here B and then the points the total for example 35 so I'll press 3 5 and enter 35 points has been added okay so let's do it again brick 21 points enter so brick you come here for example by mistake you can cancel pushing the same button again to cancel so cancel and you can keep playing now the thing is with the brick pawns is that this can here this does not reduce 
So to add the brick tone, this does not reduce. So we have to reduce the ball manually. To do this, go to the brick button and we will click the remove ball. So remove, you see here, the red ball reduce. Okay, and finish. Now the red ball has been reduced. So be careful when you use the brick point entry, this does not reduce. You have to remove the ball by hand. Okay. To go to the menu, we can click this button here. That's the menu. And that's the menu. So we click this. It goes to the menu. And you can go up and down the menu and enter. Okay. So down, up, enter, confirm. So it goes back to the scoreboard. If you want to cancel the menu, you want to cancel, you can press the M button again. Cancelled, menu, cancel, menu. Okay, now we are going to check the live score. Use any computer. Go to snooker.pw slash ch. And, um, and we will check the live score with this playing. Okay. So for example, I'll start the clock on this one here. And this is table number one. So let's say I add points, one point, and that will be one point. Five here, and that browser is now six. So I change the player, and the player will change to this side. So any computer, mobile phone, anything, with a modern internet browser will work on this one okay so we have two tables this is table number one and we are going to have tables number two table one and this is scoreboard number two. Number two. Number two. So I'll start the scoreboard here. This internet browser has two tables. This is table number two. So Again, I use 126 for the ID for demonstration. So this scoreboard number two will be here. This scoreboard number one will be here. So now this is scoreboard number two. I'll start the clock and look at the color. It changes. 
So we have two matches here. So this, this is scoreboard number two, right? And this is scoreboard number one. So this is updating, and this is scoreboard number two. So you see here, the pawns are updated according to the tablet. So number two is here, number one is here. So this concludes the demonstration. Now, I need to show you how to use the touch screen. We are not going to use this remote no remote control so take it away with the touch screen this is the clock you touch the clock to stop the clock okay and you touch the clock again to start the clock right and you touch the player to highlight the player on the table just like this okay now when he put a red ball we touch the red ball and one point is added if he put a brown ball I'll touch the brown ball again and if he made a foul shot we have to touch F so the F is under this pawns menu. Click the pawns. You see this menu here. So I've touched the F once. Foul. So foul, maybe he fouled a five pawns. So I touched the blue ball. So five pawns is added to his opponent. And if he wants to take the free ball, I'll touch the pawns word and touch F two times. So F and F to get a free ball. So he put one ball, which is one pawn. So I'll click the red to give him one pawn. And then he can then put, say, a blue ball. So the games continue like this. To enter the break point, the total points in a break, you click the break word. And then you click the total points. So for example, 25. And then add brick. So 25 pawns has been added to this person. And this person is now playing. Okay. Now, as I mentioned, when you click the brick pawn, this number is incorrect. This is wrong. So you have to reduce the red ball before you play the yellow ball. So you click the brick word and click the remove ball to get this down to zero. Remove, 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 remove. Done. So we'll close the window. So now this is no more red ball. He has to start 
by putting a yellow ball. So yellow, two points, a green, okay, and a brown, and a blue, and a pink. Okay, now to end this frame, we have to go to the W screen. To find the W button, you click the points word. You see this menu here? That's the end of frame button. So I click that. And to confirm, you touch the green button to end this frame. And one frame will be added to the left hand side player. So I'll click the green button. The scoreboard has been reset and one frame has been added to the left hand side player. So we are now starting the second frame by starting the clock. And then we will move this box. That. Now, when we need to go to the menu, we go to the M button. So we click the pawns and find the M. That's the M word here. Yeah. So we click the M button. So we go up and down. So, or you can just touch the option, such as this one here. And confirm. Or go to the menu. This is a very long list, so you have to go down to the second page. To go down and up, you click the yellow and the black button. So, the black button actually goes down, and the yellow button goes up. So, we we'll keep going down until we see the other options okay now for example uh, we want to get out of the menu we want to cancel the menu the only way to cancel is to touch the exit button here exit it will cancel the menu we come back to the scoreboard so you, if you come here by mistake, you can touch the exit button to go back to the scoreboard. Now, if you make a mistake, what do you do? You undo the, um, the previous step. So to un undo your mistake, you go to the E button. So points or the menus, you go to the E button. So that would undo one step. If you want to undo more points, undo. So it will undo again. Undo. Okay. So this is how you use the touch screen to operate the scoreboard. To exit the scoreboard. So you want to exit the scoreboard. It is simple. Um, you use if using the remote control, you touch the green button. Okay, so that is the escape button. Points. This is the escape button. So play these are the same button. Okay. So let me press this escape button. So what happens is it asks me if you want to quit or shut down the computer or cancel. So if we want to quit pro score, we will press yes. With the remote control, you use those buttons to find the options. See, you see what I'm doing here? Just keep using the up or down button. So yes to quit. So enter with the remote and it will go back to Windows desktop. 
So this is very simple. It would take you a few minutes to learn, but to use use this is very simple. So this is the multi view, the live score, and this is the actual scoreboard in your palm. So this is very handy, and there are instruction here, the same instruction as this paper. So that tells you how what the buttons do with this remote control. And always remember this. This is the receiver for the remote control. Okay. If the receiver is not here, the remote control cannot be used. So always make sure they are all here together. Alright? Thank you very much.